Welcome back everybody, this is Eric uh, from Moss Pawn and Gun and uh, today we're going to do a quick little video talking about the uh, ATI uh, Halo side saddle set alright um, you know I'm into gadgets and you know I always like uh, playing around with different stuff on guns and as you guys know I play around with the uh, Mosins and other gunsmithing stuff so occasionally I like to just check out random stuff and share my results with you guys all right, I'm working around the box a little bit, but I think we can show you a little bit of what's in here. You get, of course, uh, instructions. That's a given, which you're not going to need the instructions if I do my job on this video right. You've got a rail that mounts on top of the saddle itself. All right, you got all your little... Uh, these are rubber pieces that actually work in conjunction with your uh, actual shell holders. You'll see those in a moment. Of course, a bag of hardware. Of course, of course. And you got the unit itself. This is the heart of the system. Basically, it uses the existing holes on your receiver that have been drilled and tapped. Uh, of course, this will only work on a model that's been drilled and tapped. Uh, a lot of them are uh, drilled and tapped from the factory, so that shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, you have your ejection port cut out. Uh, this also allows you to drive the pins out for disassembly without removing uh, this system. So it is a very uh, neat setup in that it doesn't really require, I guess, any gunsmithing is what I should say. I mean, if you can turn a screwdriver, you can put this on. All right, it comes with, these of course are your shell holders, and I'll show you how those are installed in a moment. Um, fairly straightforward. Um, at first, it can seem like a little bit of a daunting task, but you see, you got your, uh, you know, in the packaging, you got your shell holders. So uh, let's go ahead and break all this out, get rid of this box, and uh, move on and get this thing put on. All right, guys, this is really, really easy. There's not a lot to this. You've basically got these little side saddle sets that they have these little rubber spacers. Put your rubber spacers in there, use the included screws, these long ones, and uh, basically they just hold the rubber spacers in place and that allows you to you know, hold a shotgun shell in there. Uh, it comes with nine of them. You can use as many of them as you wish, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one together here for you just to show you how easy it is. Um, just put this little, uh, textured area or whatever knurled area right here down like that it's real easy and you'll do this for every one of course and what I would recommend doing is go ahead and uh, put these together before you uh, mess with anything else that way you're reducing the amount of parts that are laying around on your bench and whatnot you know the screw has to pass through the rubber first so just kind of start them by hand I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, people, but i just like to show you guys. I know some of us are visual learners, and we like having stuff explained to us. You know, I don't ever take that for granted. You know, I'm not afraid to make a gunsmithing video or how-to video that shows you guys even some of the most simple tasks, because I know how it is. We've all been there. We've all been, you know, initially in on it before, and, you know, sometimes it's hard to know what to do. Before you install the top rail, obviously the mount's going to have to be on the gun, so just set that to the side. You're going to have two uh, screws which have kind of like a beveled head on them. Um, if you just look in the instructions, but a little beveled head like that. Those are the ones that go with your mount because they lay um, in their flush. Okay, no problem there. Um, you got a few options. You can either install the side saddles on the mount before you even put it on the gun like I'm about to do which in my opinion gives you a little bit of wiggle room to just kind of make sure it's going to look right to you before you put it on the gun. And basically the way you're going to accomplish that is, uh, of course, there's a threaded hole and a slot already interfaced on these. And, of course, there's a corresponding hole in the uh, side saddle. Line it up where you want it. And then you're going to take your, um, your cap screw with the lock uh, ring. Got a little lock ring that comes with it. Put it on there. And you're just going to screw it in place. Let's go ahead and accomplish that now. I'm going to go ahead and install a few for you. Uh, I think you get the general idea. And then we'll move on to uh, put it on the gun itself. For cosmetic purposes, I would make sure that these screws are facing down. That way you got a nice clean look on the top. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. It'll work either way. But that's just something I would consider doing just for cosmetic purposes. There's one, 
and I'll go ahead and add one more. I think you guys uh, definitely get the point here. You know, one of the things that drew me to this, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys saw the, uh, I'm sure you guys saw the video from Shot Show um, where we were showing the initial prototypes of the Halo side saddle setup for the 500. You know, just something that drew me to it was just the fact that it's extremely functional without being all mall ninja looking and garbage looking. I mean, it's a nice clean look and uh, it's a real professional looking setup that works. So uh, that's what kind of drew me to it, and that's why I'm, I'm mainly sharing it with you guys. But let's get the rest of our Halo side saddles installed. You see how I did that? Very easy. They just screw right on. I'm going to go ahead and line this whole side with side saddles, and then we're going to go uh, install it on the gun. All right, people, real easy. Just pull the cap screws out of the top of the receiver. I already pulled one out just to make sure I had the right size screwdriver bit. Some Mossberg 500s are not drilled and tapped. It's not horribly difficult to drill and tap one. If it's not, any reputable gunsmith can do it for you, ourselves included, if it comes to it. Many of the factory Mossbergs are tapped already. All right, guys, this part's pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to do it anyway. Drops right in place. Now, the neat thing about the way this system interfaces is that it's pretty damn foolproof. You don't have to worry about you know, gunsmithing anything, drilling and tapping anything, all of the functions of the gun in terms of disassembly, loading, unloading, none of that changes. All it does is just add this really functional system uh, to the gun. So we're going to go ahead and just add our screws here. I mean, real simple. I mean, this is self-explanatory, people. You just turn a screwdriver. These screws already come with some thread locking compound. That's completely normal. A lot of people ask about, you know, what those are for, and that's that's what it's for. That's thread locking compound. That's completely normal. Don't be scared to torque them down a bit, but remember that we are talking about aluminum receivers on these things, so don't get too crazy with it. All right, once you got all your uh, stuff on there. You just want to cycle the gun, make sure everything uh, works as it should. Obviously, make sure the safety works and all that happy stuff. And uh, then you're going to proceed to put your uh, rail on. Of course, it just interfaces, drops right on. Go ahead and get that on. And, uh, you know, I hate to have this nice rail on top and not put something on it, so I think we're going to um, drop a fast fire on there. And uh, we'll take this thing out to the range in a future video and uh, destroy some stuff with it just to prove the concept all right um, i'm going to get our fast fire mounted and bore sighted and then we're going to um, throw a few shells in here and just kind of practice uh, reloading with it see how it feels all right so we got the 500 set up with the uh, halo system everything looks nice it, you know it doesn't have like that mall ninja quality to it you know it's very functional and simple and uh, when shouldering the gun, you can just reach down. I'm sure there's people that are held a lot quicker than I am at this. But it's nice to have them pointed down so that you don't have to reach over the top. And uh, they retain just fine. But... It holds them pretty tight. Well, I hope you found this uh, video uh, enjoyable and more importantly uh, informative. Very easy uh, kit to install, very simple, um, and very functional. Uh, in a future video, you'll see me um, out there playing around with this gun quite a bit. So we're not done with this setup. We're going to test it in the long run, see how it really does. Shoot the crap out of it, see if anything vibrates loose or if there's any issues with the build. So far, I don't see anything that would... Uh, lend itself to not being a uh, stellar quality as you would come to expect from a company like ATI but um, I'm really tickled with this rig you know after seeing it at SHOT Show and just kind of getting to check out some of their initial um, versions of this rail system it's just really cool to see 
you know, they've got the product out, and it's just really neat to see it. So I appreciate you guys watching today, and uh, we will have more of this stuff in the pipeline, install videos, range videos, what have you. Um, we will be getting this little puppy out to the range. So uh, thanks for watching today, and stay tuned for more.